Hello everyone, I am Subham and in today's lecture I will discuss about the Reimer timer reaction. Okay, let's start. First, let's see a simple reaction that is between phenol, phenol with chloroform in the presence of base and gives us salicylic aldehyde. Okay, salicylic aldehyde. Now, first you have to know that here the carbon intermediate formation occur carbon intermediate okay now let's see the mechanism here a phenol a first a carbon generation will be occurs that's why let's write the reaction between chloroform ch cl3 plus koh here now this hydroxide anion will take this hydrogen and gives us a anionic species that is like this okay and here is water now it is here already a k positive cation present in the solution that will take this chloride chloride anion after breaking this bond so we can say here a kcl will be released and ccl2 with six electron carbon six electron carbon that is carbon so and it is electron deficient species electron deficient species okay now this carbon with phenol that is electron rich will show us a electrophilic substitution reaction let's see how in it is the step one okay carbon generation carbon generation okay now step two is one mole of koh consumed here okay now step two is generation of phenoxide phenoxide ion okay let's see how here is phenol now when we use another mole of koh then here will be a release of water plus phenoxide ion okay this oh negative will take this hydrogen and give us a stable anionic species that is phenoxide anion it is stable by resonance okay let's draw the resonance structure of this phenoxide ion to get the position where we have to attack by electrophile okay where we have to attach the electrophile resonance structure of phenoxide anion that will be like this this will break this bond okay and another one will be at para position an ion will form now you can see the ortho and para position is the electron rich side so the electrophile will be attached to the ortho para position okay now let's see the step third that is electrophilic substitution reaction with carbon here is phenoxide ion okay here is carbon ccl2 with vacant orbital so now this will attack on this vacant orbital and gives a ortho substituted species okay now see cl cl and negative charge on it now here will be a hydrogen transfer sorry here is double bond sorry now here will be hydrogen transfer why because here is uh, an ion on this species so we can say this bond will break again and this will take this hydrogen and gives us gives us ch cl cl okay now again this will attack on this bond and gives us a carbon carbon double bond and with that reaction the chloride anion will again release because already k positive present in the solution so we can get here kcl and c double bond h and chlorine okay now again here will be we have to use the th remaining mole of alcohol that is koh sorry potassium hydroxide koh again attack on this carbon and break this carbon carbon double bond and this bond will be transferred to there and this will again phenoxide anion okay and here ch oh 
and Cl. And again, resonance uh, the electron transfer. Okay, and again this now this bond will break because C carbon chlorine bond will be weakest and chlorine is also a good leaving group. So this will be occur like this. Okay, now why I draw this like I draw the alcohol like this? Let's see why. Because now you can see here is a hydrogen bonding. So that's why we can say the ortho substituted product will be major because here is a extra stability by hydrogen bonding okay and in last step you can write here in last step that is this uh, oxygen hydrogen bond will form okay and this will break and again you can see a simple salicylic aldehyde ortho substituted aldehyde ortho substituted phenol that is salicylic aldehyde this is the main product so from the in from this reaction we can get the information about the carbene generation and second one carbon is electron deficient species and third one here electrophilic substitution reaction occur okay thank you